Get ready for the future of warfare. The U.S. military is testing super-advanced autonomous stealth drones. These cutting-edge unmanned aircraft are designed to operate with minimal human intervention, using advanced artificial intelligence to navigate and carry out complex missions. With their stealth capabilities and advanced sensor systems, these drones are set to revolutionize the way we think about warfare. Welcome to another episode of High Technology. Join the club as we unravel high-end technologies on the planet by subscribing to this channel and hitting the notification bell so you won't miss any exciting videos in the future. In this video, let's talk about the development of these high-tech drones. Drones, or unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, have become an important part of naval operations in recent years. They are used for a variety of purposes, including surveillance, reconnaissance, and intelligence gathering. Drones can be equipped with a variety of sensors and cameras, allowing them to gather detailed information about an area or target. One of the main advantages of using drones in naval operations is that they can be deployed quickly and can operate in a variety of conditions, including rough seas and high winds. They can also fly at high altitudes, providing a wide field of view and the ability to cover large areas quickly. Drones are also useful for carrying out hazardous or high-risk missions, such as mine detection and clearance. Unmanned surface vehicles USVs, can be used to locate and neutralize mines, reducing the risk to human personnel. In addition to their practical uses, Drones are also a cost-effective option for navies, as they are less expensive to operate than manned aircraft. As a result, many navies around the world have embraced drones as a key part of their operations. Drones were created by the United States and Great Britain during World War I, and during the Vietnam War they played a crucial role in military conflict, primarily for the highly controversial use of reconnaissance. As they become more often, Drones are used to spy from above and monitor the ground below. However, proponents of this technology claim that drones are necessary to monitor the activities of terrorist groups in distant locations and, in some situations, eliminate opponents from a safe distance. One of the most important drones in the American military is this odd-looking, first unmanned aircraft to be based on an aircraft carrier. The Boeing MQ-25's flat form and dark gray exterior have earned it the nickname Stingray in the Sky. For MQ-25s will be produced by 2024, according to Boeing, who broke the news after obtaining a more than $800 million contract. They will primarily be utilized for aerial refueling, which greatly increases the range of Navy jets. The aircraft must be capable of transporting 15,000 pounds of fuel to four to six aircraft over a distance of 500 miles, according to the Navy. During this test over the farms of Illinois in June 2021, the MQ-25 first demonstrated its capacity to refuel in flight. The hose is pulled back to the drone after the refueling is finished, and both aircraft land without incident. This successful test according to the manager of the Navy program, demonstrates that an unmanned aircraft is capable of displacing Navy attack jets from their tanker duties and giving the carrier air wing more range flexibility and capability. Other nations are embracing drone technology as well. The MQ-28 Ghost Bat drone is being developed by the Royal Australian Air Force in collaboration with Boeing. It has the name of the Ghost Bat, an Australian native animal noted for working to identify and hunt in packs. The name, according to the designers, indicates the special features of the aircraft sensors and its capabilities for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. This drone, called the Neuron, was developed by European countries. The countries of France, Italy, Sweden, Spain, Greece, and Switzerland worked together to create the Neuron. The Neuron program's objective was to educate these allies on the most recent developments in unmanned aircraft technology. Although it can be used for military operations, the Neuron's major objective, according to the program's website, 
is to give European aircraft design offices a project that will boost their technological prowess and knowledge in the field of unmanned aircraft. The Neuron is 32 feet long and 5 tons in weight. Its wingspan measures 41 feet. On December 1, 2012, the Neuron conducted its debut flight in France, propelled by a Rolls-Royce Turbomeca Adour engine. Two and a half years later, in March 2015, flight trials in France to assess its stealth capabilities were successfully accomplished. Trials for sensor evaluation followed those experiments in Italy. Live fire experiments were part of the final flight tests, which were conducted in Sweden. The Neuron project was a diplomatic as well as technological achievement. This drone is evidence that multiple nations can collaborate to create and operate cutting-edge technology. The collaboration behind the Neuron also serves as a form of insurance for the involved countries. Each is aware that they can rely on the other leaders to work together and support one another in future crises. Drones are not just for the air. Unmanned surface vehicles, or USVs, operate on the water without a pilot or crew. USVs are being used more frequently today for a variety of tasks, such as commercial transport, oceanography, and environmental monitoring. A seagoing catamaran-style drone, the Sea Cat. It is intended to be used for remotely or automatically controlled inspection and survey missions on offshore installations. The Sea Cat is built of aluminum and has inflatable side tubes, which help to make it lightweight and shockproof. Searching for naval mines also makes use of unmanned surface vehicles. Explosives used by the military to damage or sink ships or submarines are known as naval mines. Unmanned vehicles defend ships by identifying and intercepting the mines before they make contact with a larger passenger vessel since the mines are set off by the approach of or contact with any vessel. To search the ocean for these dangers, the AQS-24B Mine Hunter is sent out. It is the first autonomous surface vehicle for mine warfare in the U.S. Navy, having been developed by Northrop Grumman in collaboration with the Naval Undersea Warfare Center. The underwater drone, which resembles a miniature submarine and has sonar and laser scanners, searches for bottom-laid and moored mines. The three main components of the mine warfare issue are addressed by the AQS-24B. It first shortens the time needed for mine clearing. The identification and classification of underwater objects of interest are improved, too. And finally, by preventing the sailor from entering minefields, it significantly increases crew safety. Demonstrations illustrate in real time how unmanned technologies may support human operations in mine warfare. From engine power to solar powered, this unmanned vessel looks like a futuristic sailboat. As part of an ongoing collaboration between the U.S. Navy and the Royal Navy of the United Kingdom, the sail drone underwent testing in the Arabian Gulf in October 2022. The sail drone is said to be ecologically benign by its U.S.-based manufacturers because it is solar-powered and leaves no carbon imprint. The environment benefits from its mission as well. In roughly a million nautical miles and more than 18,000 days at sea, sail drone vehicles have collected data that offers unmatched insight for climate, mapping, and maritime security applications. There is little doubt that governments all over the world are eager to discover more about what lies beneath the seas. Ocean floors are covered with communication and energy lines that link many continents and nations. Understanding and mapping the ocean floor can also help military operations, especially those involving submarines. Submarines frequently hide on the ocean floor in nooks and crannies to avoid detection. Undoubtedly, Drones are the new military technology powerhouse. In times of conflict, these unmanned aircraft and surface ships save lives while preserving resources like time, manpower, and energy. Aerial drones can effortlessly watch every individual in the globe from a safe distance and are now frequently utilized in surveillance and reconnaissance tasks. As the Navy continues to push the boundaries of innovation, 
the development of new super-advanced autonomous stealth drones is an exciting step forward. These drones will revolutionize the way we approach naval warfare, providing unparalleled stealth, intelligence, and control. The possibilities are endless, and we can't wait to see what the future holds for this technology. With the Navy at the forefront of the development of these drones, we can rest assured that our country will always be at the top of the pack when it comes to national defense. So let's cheer on the Navy as they continue to develop and deploy these incredible drones, keeping us safe and on the cutting edge of technology.